to Nina Roca, profiled by NBC's David Brinkley in 1962. A lot of the performers in wrestling shows are blubbery freaks, clowns, and sideshow actors in theatrical costumes. But Rocca is an athlete, a former rugby champion, and something of a physical marvel. 228 pounds, mostly muscle, good at every sport he has tried. He goes to the most extreme lengths to keep himself physically hard. I believe that this is a great privilege to live in a great country as this one. Our country, because just since last year, I become an American citizen. I'm very proud to be one of them. The second raters, the bums and the freaks, have been in the ring and warmed up the customers. And now it is time for the Latin hero. He will appear all muscle and animal vigor, and the audience will sit there and watch him act out their dreams. He may lose the first fall, but in the end, his great strength and noble purpose, like virtue, always wins. They watch this act over and over and never tire of it. If anyone tells them it is all planned, they don't care. They just like the show and they like the way it turns out. If it takes some planning and arranging to make it turn out right, that's the way it is everywhere in life and nobody cares. He weighs 290. Even if it is all arranged, it is a nationalistic morality play. Good against evil, our guys against their guys. And no matter what happens in everyday life in New York, tonight, in this wrestling ring, our guys are going to win. to be a hero in a day when we don't have many. With his influence among the members of a minority, Tony could be some kind of demagogue, political or otherwise, and translate his popularity into power, as others have. But instead, he sticks to wrestling, lectures his admirers to respect their parents, play it straight, educate themselves, and love their country. Antonino Rocco was one of the biggest draws in the world of wrestling. He liked to claim that he would live to be 150 because he had found the secret of life, good circulation of the blood. Didn't work out that way. Rocco died in 1977 at age 49. A career in professional wrestling can be a stepping stone to success.